Hi everyone, it's Donal and today I'm going to lead us through a seated yoga session. Now, if you have a belt, maybe a yoga strap or just a regular household belt, have it handy. If you don't have a belt, don't worry, a towel will also work. And I'll actually use a towel as well when we get to it. So just to say that. We'll begin loosening up our whole head and neck area and move on to our shoulders, into our side body. And we'll take it from there. To begin with then, sit comfortably. And beginning to turn your head to look over one shoulder, slowly. Come back to center, turning your head to look over opposite shoulder, come back to center. So let's continue this. We'll move with our breath on an out breath, turning to look over one shoulder, back to center. On your next exhale, turn to look over opposite shoulder, inhale center, exhale rotate. Now continue this, move in your own time with your own breath. Your exhale turns your head to one side, your inhale comes back to center. Now remember, don't force any movement. Let the movement be slow and gentle. No need to go to any sort of an extreme. Nice, back to center. This time, Dropping your chin on an out breath. Lifting your chin on an in breath. Okay, off we go. Dropping chin on an exhale. Lifting chin on an inhale. Once again, don't go to any sort of an extreme. Just beginning to stretch the front of your neck and the back of your neck. Great, back to center. Let's do slow rotations. Our chin goes to one side. We lift it up towards the ceiling, across to the other shoulder, down towards the chest, and up and around. So you draw circles in the air with your chin. And as you do that, you start to roll your head in one direction. Now let's go in the other direction. A couple of times. Nice, pause. Okay, shoulders. Inhale, elevate your shoulders. Exhale, depress them or drop them. Movement up on an in-breath. On an out breath, drop it. Good. Now, feel your shoulders moving as you inhale and exhale. Up and down. Very good. Pause. Let's do rotations. Shoulder rolls. Loosening out your shoulders. Now again, as you loosen out your shoulders, as you roll your shoulders, feel the movement. We want to use our practice to help us get out of our heads and get more into a sense of being grounded in the body. Let's change direction. Nice, loosening out your shoulders. Okay, let's develop that a bit. We'll take our elbows out to the side, about shoulder level. Okay, we lift our elbows and shoulders and we descend them. Okay, up on an in-breath, down on an out-breath. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down, up and down. Let's do three more. Up down, two, and final one, lift, up, hold for three, 
for two, lift and one, release down. Nice, pause here, take a nice slow breath in, relax belly, then a nice long slow breath back out. Good, okay, let's make that movement again. Elbows bent out by our sides, but this time we're going to inner and outer rotate our upper arms, okay? So outer rotate your arms, your elbows and your swing and our palms face up or fists face up. Exhale, inner rotate, okay? Now, we'll continue this movement. So you're rolling your upper arms in and back. As you inhale, outer rotate your upper arms. As you exhale, inner rotate. Nice, just a few more of these. Two and one, back, down, very good. Okay, wrists, we make fists. With our fists, we make circles. So we start to loosen out our wrists here. Let's change direction. Let's change direction again. And one more time, changing direction. Yeah, so just loosening out your wrists as you rotate your fists. Perfect, good. Pause, okay, we can move our fingers like we're playing a piano. That's it, very quickly. Three, two, one. Pause, okay. Nice. So coming back to our wrists again, we'll do finger snaps. So we open and close our hands. Yeah. And as we do this, we just start to tire out our hands and our fingers and our wrist joints. And in doing that, we start to build up strength. Okay. So let's say eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, pause. We'll do one more set. Take a nice slow breath in. Nice relaxed slow breath back out. Let's go again, make fists. Open your fingers, make fists. That's it, okay. So let's continue this movement. Opening our hands, letting our fingers fly out, and then closing our hands and making fists. Great, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Shake out your wrists, shake out your wrists. Let's do a sideways stretch and we'll come back to our wrists then again in a moment. Okay, we'll just take one arm, right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Now stay heavy, the right hip, reach up towards the ceiling. Stay soft around your head and neck. Sideways stretch here. Okay, now feel the stretch in your outer body. If you like a little bit more, you can start to stretch out over your head. Again, no need to go too far. you care to, you can take hold of the top wrist and give yourself a little bit of an assist, stretching out sideways for three, for two, breathe into your outer ribs and on an inhale breath, coming up, exhale breath, down. Let's switch sides and we'll repeat that. Okay, our hand reaches up. Now take it easy here, let the stretch come into your side body. Reach up towards the ceiling. But stay soft around your head and neck. A little bit more stretch if you like. Leaning sideways and stretching out over your head. Again, don't go too far. Feel your stretch. Take nice, easy breaths in. Nice, easy breaths back out. Then if you like, you can take hold of the top wrist. Draw on the wrist and just 
give yourself a little bit more of a stretch. Don't overdo it. For three, for two, for one. Up you come. Down, repeat first side, reach up. This may be where you stay. If you like it a little bit more, stretch out over your head. And if you'd like a little bit more still, take hold of your top wrist, draw on the wrist, stretch sideways. Don't overdo it. For a three, for a two, one. Up you come. Exhale down. Repeat second side. Step one. Reach up towards the ceiling. Staying at your step one if you if you care to. But if you like, step two would be reaching out over your head, leaning sideways. And again, if you like a step three, take hold of your top wrist, draw on it, stretch sideways. For three, for two, and for one. Nice, up you come. Exhale, breath down, back to our wrists. We take our hands, we press them together in front of the chest. As we press our hands gently together, we lift our elbows, we relax our head and neck. Okay, now gently push on your hands, lift your elbows, relax your head and neck. Almost done. Just a few more seconds. Lift your elbows, gently press on your hands, relax your head and neck. Exhale, breath, release. Take a nice slow breath in, a nice slow breath back out, and we'll repeat. Now, gently press on your hands. If you like, you could also introduce some dynamic movement. Turning your fingers away from you and down towards the floor and then back up towards you. Okay, so a few of these, just some dynamic movement in your wrists. Three, two, and one nice down okay stretch your arms out interlace your fingers on an exhale turn your upper body and shoulders to one side come back to center let's go to the same side about five times that's it rotate center rotate center okay we'll do two more and last one, rotate. Let's hold this one for three, for two, one. Nice, back to center. Release your hands down. Take a nice slow breath in. Mouth softly closed and a nice slow breath out. Again, mouth softly closed. Let's go to the other side. Interlace your fingers, reach your hands forward. Exhale, rotate your trunk. Back to center. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Okay, two more. And the final one will hold. Okay, so rotate and hold for three for two and for one. Come back to center, we'll come down. Okay, we'll repeat the rotation again, but this time we'll just put our hands in front of our, our heart. So we might get a little bit more rotation because we're, we're leaving out the, the shoulders and the arms. So on an exhale, turn, maybe a little bit more rotation, good. Center, same side, turn, center, Again, turn, center, turn, center, and final one we'll hold for three, for two, one. Nice. Okay, we'll go straight to the other side. Exhale, rotate your upper body, look to one side, inhale, center. Okay, let's keep going. Moving with your own breath, the out breath rotates your trunk, inhale, center. Now, with all the movements, don't go to any extremes. Just do movement that loosens your body up, releases tension, 
helps you feel better, okay? When we're active, we feel better. Now, the next one, we hold for three, for two, and for one. Back to center, down. Okay, we're gonna use the towel or the belt if you have it to stretch out our shoulders. So we take the, the strap, the towel, nice and wide, nice and wide. We're going to take it up over our head. We relax our head and neck. And we draw, we pull, we pull on the, the strap, the towel. You feel a nice stretch coming into your shoulders. Okay, so we'll hold this, breathing here. Stretch the sides of your upper body. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your biceps and triceps. Draw on the strap for three, for two, and one. Okay, take a pause, take a break, and then we'll go again. Nice. So stretch up. Now this time we'll go sideways and up. Okay, we'll do a few pulses out to one side. We'll do about five, okay. So that's three, that's four, and that's five. Great, up, down, take a breath in, take a breath out, inhale, up, exhale, opposite side. Okay, draw on the towel or strap out to one side, again out to one side. We'll do two more out to one side, and nice. Up, down, pause. We'll go back up overhead again in a moment. Now, if you have blood pressure, you need to be mindful about putting your hands up over your head. Maybe you won't go all the way up over, way up over your head. So just be sensible. That's it. Now you can just draw on the straps, whether it's over your head or whether it's in front of you, you're still gonna get a nice stretch to your shoulders. It's just added challenge lifting it over your head. For three, for two, draw on the strap, and one. Nice, down, okay, one more. A little bit of working here. We hold the toddler to strap much closer in, about shoulder width apart. We take it up over our head. Okay, exhale, we bring it down to the back of our neck, and inhale, up. Okay, so pull on the strap or the towel, whatever you're holding, as you inhale up and as you exhale down. Okay, we'll just do three more. Nice, okay, that's number two, and that's number one, perfect. We're down. Okay, nice. So let's move on to doing something for our, 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 our legs, our hips, our quads. We can bend the knee, lift it, take hold of the knee, bring it in towards the belly, and then kick into your heel. Okay, so we hold this. We've got deep hip flexion here. We're stretching into our heel, we're lengthening through our calf. We hug the knee up. For three, for two, and for one. Nice, done, okay. Change sides, we'll do both sides twice, maybe three times. So you bring the knee in, stretch into your heel, sit up tall. Keep breathing, keep breathing here. Three, two, so we got knee flexion, we, we've got hip flexion, we have ankle flexion, good, down. Okay, other side, second time. Bring the knee in, lift it. Okay, good. Kick into your heel, three, two, one, down. Second side, bring the knee in, kick into your heel, very good, and release down. Okay, now we lift the knee up, we open it out to the side, we bring it back. Okay, lift, out, back. Lift. Take it out to the side, you stretch your inner thigh, groin, bring it back. 
Okay, so we have some hip movement. Stretch for the adductor up, out to the side, back. We'll do two more up, out to the side, down. Up, out to the side, back, down. Okay, let's repeat. Other leg. Up, out to the side, and back. Lift it up, out to the side, back to center. Up, out to the side, back to center. Three more, up, side, back to center, up, out to the side, back to center, up, out to the side, back to center. Great, okay. Backs of our legs. Take hold of the back of your thigh. Let's just do some knee flexion and extension to begin with. Very simple. We open and close our knee. Okay. And then we can lift the knee a little bit higher. Now we want to inner rotate the thigh, outer rotate the thigh. Inner and outer. So the lower leg moves and the foot moves, but that's just because it's attached to the, the upper leg, and it's the upper leg that we're inner and outer rotating. Okay, so we loosen the hip. Nice, hold the leg again. Rotate your ankle. Change direction. Change direction again. Now, hamstrings. We simply stretch into our heel. Okay, so you can hold the back of your leg. Stretch into your heel. That's it. So you stretch out your leg. Gauge your quad. Now if you want a little bit more, lift your foot up higher. That's it. Good. For three, for two, stretch into your heel. Lift your leg. One. Nice. Now, okay, the other side. We took hold of the back of our leg. Now we do some knee flexion, knee extension. Opening and closing the knee. We can do some ankle loosening, rotating our foot. Then we inner and outer rotate our thigh bone. We roll the thigh in. We roll the thigh out. And as we do that, the lower half of the leg swings like a hinge. But the movement is in the hip. That's it. For three, two, one. Then we stretch our leg. So hold on to the back of your leg. Stretch into your heel. Stretch out your leg. If you want a little bit more stretch, lift your leg up higher. That's it. But don't overdo it. Keep your breath nice and easy. No need to no need for competitive competitiveness. Just do a stretch that's right for you. Good. Okay. And exhale breath. Down. Okay. Now, we're going to stretch first leg again, but we're also going to introduce a bit of strength, challenge perhaps. So we hold the leg. We stretch it out. Now this is a step one. Stretch into your heel. Your uh, thigh is on, uh, is on your, your seat and you can stay there. But like I said, if you want more challenge, you lift your leg up higher. So now you don't have the support of the chair. Next step, uh, be mindful of your back. Take one hand away. Be mindful of your back. Just do what's okay for you. Take the other hand away. So now you hold the weight of your leg in the air while you stretch into your heel for three. For two, you could bend the knee a little bit if you want to take a bit of the challenge out of the pose. Good. Exhale, breath down. Okay, we'll do the other side. So just do the step. Go as far as is okay for you. Do the step that's right for you. So step one, hands are holding your leg. You stretch out into your heel and your leg is on the seat. So the seat is supporting the weight of your leg. Now the next step is still to support the weight of your leg, but it's more now in your hands and your legs up higher, so there's more stretch as well, so more challenge. That's, that's step two. You may stay there. The next step, 
will challenge your strength further and only do it if it's okay for you to do so. But you let go of one arm, that may be as far as you go. Or if it's okay, you let go of the other hand. And if that's okay, you stay there. And if you need to bend the knee to take a bit of work out of the pose, you do that. But if you can't have your legs straight, for three, for two, one, down. Okay, pause. All right, we'll stretch our back. Now, we do that by leaning forward. We put our elbows onto our knees. Keep your back nice and long, so lift your breastbone. This may be as far as you go. If you like a little bit more, reach down to touch one set of toes or, or the ankle or the shin's good too. Be aware of your back, come down with the other hand. Now stay looking forward past your feet. Feel the stretch in your back. Just going as far as is okay. Maybe, maybe your fingers can come down to the toes. Maybe a little bit past your toes. Don't overdo it, there's no need. Just get a nice stretch to your back. Nice deep hip flexion for three, for two, and for one. Up you come. We'll do some good mornings where we point one leg out. We cross our forearms. We turn to look out over our straightening leg. Then we hinge down and we inhale up. We exhale down, we inhale up. We exhale down and we inhale up. Okay, good. We'll do five more of these. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, okay. Let's go to the other side. Stretch out your leg, cross your arms. On an out breath, fold your belly, down over your thigh, and inhale, come up. Okay, good mornings. That's it, we'll do about eight all together. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Oh, okay. Now we'll finish up. Well, let's stretch for our upper body, our spine. So we interlace our fingers and our shoulders. Flip your hands around. Inhale, breath in. Take your hands up towards the ceiling. So they don't have to come over your head. You can just stretch out into your hands, arms at a 45 degree angle or maybe going a little bit higher. You can bend your elbows, keep your head and neck soft. Just get a shoulder uh, stretch, get an upper spine stretch. Don't overdo it. Maybe working towards having your arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Great, for three, for two, and one. Exhale, breath down. We'll just do a simple twist to both sides to finish. So long back. Then exhale, you can turn and you can use your hands on your legs, or on your chair, whatever, to help you get a comfortable rotation. Now relax your shoulders, close your eyes. Begin to take some nice slow breaths in and out. Back to center, take a breath in, and exhale breath, turn to the other side. Nice slow breath in and out. Okay, come back to center, sit comfortably, we'll finish off our practice with some rounds of Four by four breath practice, also known as balanced breath practice. I'll guide us through that. I'll pace us to take breaths, which are roughly five or six seconds for an in-breath and five, six seconds for an out-breath. But if my pace is too slow for you, then just 
do your own count. One to four for the in-breath, four back to one for the out-breath. Okay, again, you could have your eyes closed. Relax your upper body and become aware of your breath. Relax your belly. Now with your mouth softly closed, take a nice slow, long breath in for one, two, three, four, and a nice slow breath out for four, three, two, one. Mouth softly closed, breathing in for one, two, three, four. Mouth softly closed, breathing out for four, three, two, one. In, one, two, three, four, and out for four, three, two, one. In again for one, two, three, four, and out for four, three, two, one. Final round. Breath in for one, two, three, four, and out again for four, three, two, one. Now let your breath settle. Keeping your eyes closed. Keep your mind's attention on the movement of your breath. As you soften internally, And then closing up this practice, once again, having a sense of yourself. Once again, having a sense of the room that you are in. Making some small movements, maybe moving your head a little bit, moving your shoulders a little bit, moving your fingers a little bit, so that you waken your body up and you mark the end of the relaxation by taking a nice slow breath in. And as you exhale, allow your eyes to open. Keep your gaze soft and down. And sitting relaxed. And finishing your practice.